news right now at four. Former President Donald Trump is back here in South Florida ahead of his court appearance scheduled in Miami tomorrow. Trump is facing 37 federal charges related to classified documents kept at his Mar-a-Lago estate on Palm Beach. Trump left his Bedminster, New Jersey golf resort just before noon today. He is expected to meet with his legal counsel here in Florida ahead of that court hearing tomorrow. Now, if convicted of these charges, Trump could potentially face decades in prison for allegedly mishandling national defense documents. We have team coverage today for Trump's arrival here in South Florida. We start with our evening co-anchor Todd McDermott, who's joining us live from Doral, where Trump will be staying at his golf resort ahead of tomorrow's court appearance. Todd. Felicia Tiffany, the former president, current presidential candidate, did arrive here within the last hour to stay at his Doral Golf Resort. We are right outside of that now. You mentioned the 37 counts against them. They include willful retention of those top secret and classified government documents, as well as obstruction of justice and conspiracy, 37 counts in all. Again, he is here now. The crowds were here. They have since mostly left. Tomorrow, he has been summoned to the federal courthouse in Miami, where he faces those felony charges. They accuse him of legally keeping the classified documents and thwarting the Justice Department's efforts to get them back. He is not charged with the taking of the documents from the White House, only not returning all the documents when asked to do so, and then the obstruction of justice and conspiracy to hide those documents. The charges do carry that significant prison sentence if he's convicted, 10 years on each count. Justice Department Special Counsel Jack Smith, on this case since last November, announced the federal charges Friday, marking the first time a former president or vice president or president uh, has been uh, presidential candidate has been federally indicted on charges. Trump stays at the resort tonight, meeting with his lawyers, as you mentioned. Comes days after two of his lawyers, Jim Trustee and John Rowley, resigned from their positions hours after Trump was informed of the indictment. We also know that some of the evidence in this indictment comes from some former Trump lawyers, including recordings of Trump statements. ABC News reports that it's unlikely Trump will have a full legal team set up in time for tomorrow's court appearance, but it'll have attorney Todd Blanche by his side. Ahead of tomorrow's hearing, of course, security is being considered and will be airtight for such a dramatic moment as a former president appearing in a federal courthouse to be charged with federal crimes. Tara Jakeway has that part of our story. Tara, what are you seeing as far as security around the courthouse in downtown Miami this afternoon? Well, Todd, I got to tell you, dramatic is a great word to use. They are certainly setting the stage here and the scene for a big production tomorrow. We are stationed right now in front of one of the three entrances to the federal courthouse. We're in front of the west entrance, which we have been getting reports today that could be the entrance that the former president uses to show up here tomorrow. Now, so far, a no fly zone has been instituted over downtown Miami, where all day we have seen law enforcement from multiple county, state and federal agencies from Homeland Security to Miami PD, Fire Rescue, Miami Dade Special Response Teams, and even Park Rangers. Blockades and police tape are up all around the building where hundreds of media professionals have set up shop to capture the historic, never before seen moment. A former U.S. president is arraigned in federal court. Officials for the city of Miami held a press conference this afternoon to ensure the public that they are prepared. We are uh, prepared for a variety of different size crowds, and obviously crowd size is dependent on a variety of issues, including but not limited to the weather. Um, and so uh, we have the ability to increase our capacity if necessary. We're preparing. We have experience in handling large demonstrations. This is the city of Miami. Right. You start closing the streets. Right. As, as traffic becomes backed up or if we have an abundance of folks that necessitates them to occupy space on the streets, then we'll make those decisions. And Chief Morales estimating a wide variety of how big the crowds could be. He said anywhere from 5,000 to 50,000 people. Now, both the mayor and the police chief bringing home the point that Miami is a city of free speech and peaceful protest, but it's also a city of law and order. Todd, back to you. Tara Jakeway, Tara, thank you for that. Now, ahead of tomorrow's court appearance, which the former president will be booked as a federal defendant for these alleged crimes. Two new polls suggest most Americans see a security risk, a danger in the alleged action by the former president in the handling of these top secret and classified documents. An ABC News Ipsos poll found that 61% of Americans say the federal charges Trump faces are very or somewhat serious. 
38 percent of Republicans view the federal indictment charges as serious, compared to 21 percent back in April when Republican voters were asked about his indictment in New York State Court on charges related to fraud and a hush money payment to a former porn star. Joining me now is Andrew Rozier, who was here as the former president arrived at his Doral Resort. And we should let people know that just an hour ago, this sidewalk, the street was packed with mostly supporters. That's right. I think I counted about 100 supporters here, um, about a handful of non-supporters were here. And I can say earlier, it was a little bit heated when they all kind of met each other. But I can tell you the folks were here today in their red, white, and blue. They were also here flying their flag, supporting the former president. As you know, he is here um, staying at his resort in Doral before that hearing tomorrow at federal court in Miami. Now, we did talk to some of his supporters, and they say what's being done is unjust and they're just here to show their support. They're trying to tarnish the front runner to make the election um, better, easier for them. We just have to show the man support that we're here for him. The way he stands up for us, we got to stand up for him. And again, Todd, um, all throughout the day, it was a quiet scene. I think everyone started showing up the later it got and closer to him showing here. And then we saw other uh, Biden supporters showing up and it got a little bit heated. But the police here kept everybody calm, everything calm. And the people I talked to said they would back out here tomorrow to say goodbye. And they will also be at the federal courthouse again to show support. And we will all ask for calmness and safety for everybody. All right. And thank you. We'll see you in the next hour. Now, Donald Trump will not be in South Florida very long after appearing at the federal courthouse in downtown Miami. He heads back to New Jersey to his Bedminster Golf Club for a political fundraiser. It's been noted that since his first indictment in New York, Trump's been raising more money than ever in his run for election. After tomorrow's court appearance, it'll be at the golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey. Again, fundraiser. He will speak before that fundraiser begins. As you know, he held a similar type of event at Mar-a-Lago following his indictment in New York. Coming up at 5, we have more on the arrival here in Doral. We'll continue our coverage of the court appearance to come in federal court in Miami tomorrow. For now, I'm Todd McDermott live in Doral, outside the Trump National Golf Resort in Doral. I'll send it back to Felicia and Tiffany.